Hey everybody, Johnny here. I want to show you a couple of new nodes that have just been added to the Blender 3.0 source code. And once again, I'm happy to tell you that I did the programming for these nodes. Anyhow, let's get into it. Here I'm going to add a geometry node tree to this cube and delete this connection. Then under the add menu, we've got a new sub menu. This one's called curve primitives. And you'll see now that there are two entries, curve spiral and star. We'll start with star. This is a pretty simple node. It lets you select the amount of points you want, the inner radius, the outer radius, and then a twist value, which twists the inner radius. Here I've got a Bezier circle. I'm going to go ahead and drag it into my node tree and then use a curve to mesh node. I'll connect the circle to the curve, my star to the profile curve, and then connect up my output. As you can see, this starts off shaded smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and add an attribute fill node, choose the shade smooth attribute, and since the value is zero, now it's shaded solid. So that's pretty cool. The next node I want to show you is the curve primitive curve spiral. This node creates a spiral, gives you the option of a start radius, an end radius, a height, the number of rotations, a resolution, so that if you do a curve to points, this will be the number of points that are created, and then also a reverse option. The reverse option just changes the spin of the spiral. Once again, if I bring in my Bezier circle, I could combine that with my spiral. And I can come up with some pretty interesting shapes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy using these two new nodes. I had a lot of fun programming them, and I'm really glad they're going to show up in Blender 3.0. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it inspires you to make something awesome. And thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, I'll catch you later.